Thanks, Anthony. We begin with football as Jamaica's reggae boys secured their first victory at the CONCACAF Gold Cup after turning back Caribbean arch rivals Trinidad and Tobago 4-1 in their Group A match in Missouri in the United States on Wednesday evening. Damari Gray, on his 27th birthday, scored in the 14th and 29th minutes, while Leon Bailey netted in the 17th. And the Kingston College standout Dejon Whisper Richards in his first official international national appearance, got the fourth in time added on. Richards, at age 17, became the youngest ever goal scorer in the Gold Cup. Andre Rampasad scored Trinidad's consolation in the 49th minute. The victory, the first with the team for head coach Hermione Hallgrimson, moved the Jamaicans four points into second place. Against uh, USA in the first game, after being ahead for most, um, most of the game, but yeah, this game was important and uh, to score four goals as well. No, it might come down to goal difference, you never know. So, yeah, I think we could have been more ruthless. We had a lot more chances, but three points is most important. No such luck, though, in lacrosse as Jamaica's men were, were beaten 20 to 1 by number two ranked Canada in the quarterfinals of the World Lacrosse Championships in San Diego in the United States also last evening. Kyrie Sears scored the lone goal for the number 10 ranked Jamaicans who are assured of bettering their 18th place at their world debut in 2018. Lack of a professional pride and hunger are two of the deficiencies noted by Jamaica and West Indies all-rounder Andre Russell in the regional team currently on the brink of missing the World Cup for the first time in their history. The Caribbean side failed to defend 375 against the Netherlands after a 33-run loss to Zimbabwe and will start Saturday's Super 6 stage without a point. I think we are just sitting down waiting for things to happen and that's not how the cricket is played. Um, you know, these guys are hungry and West Indies has to get hungry. I just think, you know, we, we're just going through the motion, you know, we, we, there, there should be a level of fight. And that's it for your midday sports report. Anthony, it's back to you. Thank you very much, Karen. And that's the midday news. I'm Anthony Log. Join us at 7 for primetime news. On behalf of the news, sports, and production teams, good afternoon.